Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Rafiqul Islam. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about one of the very common practical in pharmaceutics, that is to prepare and submit 100 ml of simple syrup IP. So IP here stands for Indian Pharmacopoeia. The preparation will follow that one. So before going into the experimentation part, let us first know what actually simple syrup is. So my dear students, simple syrup is a monophasic liquid dosage form which is sweetened, viscous and concentrated preparation of sucrose in water. So monophasic here means only, which contains only one phase. Just for example, salt in water. When you add salt in water, it completely dissolves and we cannot see the salt in that one, right? And we see only one solution, clear solution. So that is your monophasic liquid dosage form. Against to that, if we talk about biphasic, just say, uh, for example, suspension where we can see some dispersed particles in liquid, right? So that is biphasic. Or you take the example of your emulsion where we can see two immiscible liquids, say, example, oil and water. So that becomes biphasic. However, syrup is a monophasic liquid dosage form. It is sweet, it is viscous, it is concentrated because of the addition of large amount of sucrose in water. So the preparation according to IP says that it should be 66.7% w by w that is weight by weight which however is 85 percent weight by volume in case of your united states pharmacopoeia so my date in case of indian pharmacopoeia it is 66.7 percent weight by weight and not weight by volume a simple syrup is also known as non-medicated type since there is no medication or active pharmaceutical ingredients added to it however if we add any api or any therapeutic agent then it will become or it can be termed as medicated uh, syrup and if any flavoring agents is added to a simple syrup then it is known as flavored syrup since we are preparing simple syrup we should know what are the various advantages so the advantage here is that a simple syrup is palatable palatable means they are sweet in taste and hence any kind of drug or medicaments which have bitter taste or which are which are nauseous in uh, nauseous substances so those drugs can be administered uh, by using syrup and it will mask the taste or bitter taste of the drug so it becomes uh, convenient for the patient to consume the medication uh, they prevent the oxidation in the preparation apart from that uh, one of the important things is that they are self-preservative self-preservative ka matlab ye hai ki wo khud prote uh, prevents the growth of uh, any kind of microorganisms or any kind of bacteria fungi how do they do that that is one important thing because of the high osmotic pressure of syrup, they prevents the growth of any kind of uh, microorganisms. As you can see on the screen, the working formula is given according to Indian Pharmacopoeia. That is, sucrose will be needed 667 gram for the preparation of 1000 ml of simple syrup. So, uh, the purified water that will be needed, it is written QS. So, here the term QS is the abbreviated form of the Latin term quantity sufficient. This means that if we are making 1000 ml of the preparation, we will add sucrose to the sucrose, that is 667 gram. And after that, we will add water to the water, and after that, we will add the final preparation to the final preparation of 1000 ml. That's the simple meaning of quantity sufficient. So, you can see like uh, even for water it is written 1000 gram like qs 1000 gram so you might think like uh, why is it weight by weight and why not weight, weight by volume as mentioned uh, ipk mutabik we have to take weight by weight however while doing the preparation we can directly take uh, the same value as ml for water why because this is an important question for the viva boss ke liye ki, uh, weight by weight ke jaga, calculation kaise ki? So for simple syrup, it is simple, I mean you don't need any extra calculation. Aapka jo weight by weight with up, density of water is equivalent to 1, right? So 1 gram per ml at specific temperature and pressure. So you can directly take the equal volume. So 1 gram will be approximately equal to 1 ml. So agar hume 1000 ml chahiye, aapke 50 ml chahiye, jo bhi chahiye hoga, we can directly take it in the ml instead of taking it in gram. So usme matlab extra koi calculation ki zarurat nahi hai. Now we have to do the necessary calculations. So, we have given that how much 1000 ml preparation for sucrose is required. But we are not going to prepare 1000 ml. So, the requirement will be to calculate the calculation. So, uh, we are doing the preparation for 100 ml. Since for 1000 ml, we need is 667 gram of sucrose, right? So, we have to calculate now for 100 ml how much of sucrose will be required. So, after calculation, you will find that it is 66.7 gram. 
for 100 ml. Let us now move into the experimentation part. We can say that the preparation of simple syrup IP. So, we will see what we have to do with the apparatus. So, the first thing that we need is a measuring cylinder. So, depending on how much ml is made, we will be making 100 ml. So, we will be taking 100 ml. With 200 ml, we will go for bigger measuring cylinder. So, we will have a beaker in which we will prepare the solution. After that, we will have a funnel for transferring into a container. Then we need a spatula, which we will use for sucrose to weigh the name and use the name for transferring the sucrose from the container while we need. Apart from that, we will need a glass roll, a tripod stand if we need to filter, and then a filter paper if needed be, we will use filter paper. Besides that, we need a graduated paper. So to make up the volume, we will use graduated paper. In the chemicals section, what we need chemicals is sucrose, so we will be using this. Sucrose and we have the purified water already, so we will be using this as the solvent. So, how do we do this? So, in the first step, what we will do is we have to wash with the apparatus. Remember that washing is one of the essential parts in pharmaceutical formulation. So, first thing is you have to wash with the apparatus properly and dry them. So, we have done that part previously. So, we will proceed to the second step. Second step, we can do it. First of all, you have to do the calculation of all the ingredients, whichever is needed. So, we will be preparing 100 ml according to IP. So, for that 100 ml, we need is 66.7 gram sucrose. So, we have already measured that one, as you can see. So, we will carefully transfer this to the beaker that we have previously washed properly. In this process, we have to make sure that we have to make sure so uh, when we are talking about something pharmaceutical formulation, which may concentration may allow to do well as well. So we have to make sure that we do not waste even a single particle. Okay, so we have used butter paper for the measurement of the uh, sucrose. So okay, the second step is that since we are preparing 100 ml, so we cannot use 100 ml in this uh, preparation. Like we are seeing the uh, calculation portion when we were discussing that we have to use 100 ml of 100 ml of water pure right so uska matlab hai the final preparation should be 100 ml so abhi agar hum log isme 100 ml water le lenge aur isme add kar denge just because of the high uh, high concentration of sucrose iska final volume jo hoga wo 100 se zyada ho jayega jo hame nahi chahiye hame chahiye exactly 100 so what we have to do is we have to take something less than 100 so that jo displacement hoga volume mein because of the solid sucrose, उसको बाद में हम लोग make up कर सकते हैं। So we will try to take somewhere around say 65 to 70. ताकि हम लोग का final volume सही रहे। Okay, so it is around हम लोग somewhere around 68 to 69. So इसको हम लोग इसमें डालेंगे in the sucrose. After that, we will use the glass roll. This has been properly washed previously. So we will try to stir it properly. So we have to do the stirring. जब तक ये अच्छे से dissolve ना हो। अगर फिर भी अच्छे से dissolve ना हो, we will apply heat. So it will take a little time. As you can see, uh, we have been stirring it for quite some time, but it has not properly, uh, I mean, abhi tak achse se dissolve nahi hua. So to get a clear solution, what we will do is, we will use the hot plate. So this is a hot plate, and we have set it to around 45 degrees centigrade. And because of the heat, it will properly dissolve and we will get a clear solution. And as we know, simple syrup is a monophasic liquid dosage form. So, now you can see like it is getting dissolved in a better way now you can see that after the application of heat it has become a clear solution it has properly dissolved and we have a clear monophasic liquid dosage form so after this what we will do is filter this so that it is uh, completely free from any kind of uh, unwanted substances so for that we have the setup here the funnel the filter paper 
So make sure you add only that amount so that it will not overflow above the filter paper. And we have the polygon plugs at the base to collect the filtering. So after this process, uh, we will have uh, the clear solution and let's wait till it gets uh, filtered. So now the filtration is completed. So we have the filtering and we will be using that as our uh, preparation. So we will separate it out. So first of all we have to check how much quantity uh, it is there after filtration. And since we did not exactly mix the amount which will be needed for the preparation of 100 ml. So now we have to check like mix part of our And then we have to continue to make up the volume of the preparation which we were targeting. So now you can see, uh, initially we had how much? Around 68-69 ke aspas liya tha. Uske baad we have added the sucrose, right? So sucrose ke add karne ke baad dekhe kitna volume increase ho gaya. So agar hum log initially 100 le lete, to wo volume it uh, it would have reached around 120 approximately. So tab hum log ka concentration bigar jata, kyunki hum log IP ko follow kar rahe. So we have to maintain that concentration, and that says that the final volume should be 100 ml after adding of 66.7 percent sucrose, right? So now we can see that it's a bit less. So it is somewhere around 93, 94. So we have to make this up to 100 ml. So and then we will have the final concentration. For that we will use the graduated pipette and the purified water that we have. So why I am using graduated pipette? I could have used uh, beaker or conical glass for any of the water. Just because beaker may uh, properly and now you can see uh, that the final preparation is exactly 100 ml and the lower meniscus is at the line so this is our final uh, simple syrup IP so uh, now what we have to do is after the preparation we have to uh, transfer it to a suitable container so we already have the suitable container and then we will transfer it uh, make sure that the container is clean, right? And after that, we will level it properly with all the directions that may be essential for a formulation. Apart from that, uh, directions like uh, whether it should be taken orally, whether it should be kept away from children, uske alawa, expiry date, uh, manufacturing date, when manufacture kaha pe kiya hai, kis kiya hai, all those information will be added along with the composition, basic composition. So that is our simple syrup IP. Okay, now coming to the concluding parts, that is what are the questions that are generally asked in Paiva. So uh, one of the first thing they will ask you is what is a syrup, like what is the preparation that you are doing. So apart from that, they will ask you what is the uh, dosage form. So it will be your monophasic liquid dosage form. So apart from that, they will ask you uh, what is the composition. So it will be 66.7% weight by weight according to IP so you have to mention that specifically so they might ask you uh, what is the concentration according to USP and what is the difference so according to USP it is 85% weight by volume and according to IP it is weight by weight and not weight by volume and it is 66.7% weight by weight so they may ask you like if it is weight by weight then how did you measure 100 gram or then how did you uh, measure the quantity of water that will be required in gram so for that you can answer counter the answer, uh, question like uh, since the density of water is 1 gram per ml at specific pressure and temperature that means it uh, 1 gram of water will be equivalent to approximately 1 ml of uh, water so we can directly take the same amount of water in ml rather than measuring them in gram so uh, they may also ask you like what are the various advantages of syrup what it is generally used as so it is generally used as vehicle and there are various advantages like uh, 
as we have discussed they are palatable they are antioxidant and then they are self preservative right so these are some of the important questions that are generally asked in the uh, practical exams i hope you have understood the practical in case if you have any kind of queries any doubts regarding the practical you can drop down your queries in the comment section